Double wishbone suspension is an independent suspension design for automobiles using two, occasionally parallel, wishbone-shaped arms to locate the wheel. Each wishbone or arm has two mounting points to the chassis and one joint at the knuckle. The shock absorber and coil spring mount to the wishbones to control vertical movement. Double wishbone designs allow the engineer to carefully control the motion of the wheel throughout suspension travel, controlling such parameters as camber angle, caster angle, toe pattern, roll center height, scrub radius, scuff. There are a lot of accepted truths in the automotive world. One is that where performance is concerned, double wishbone suspension is superior. Most race cars use double wishbones and a lot of the best road cars do too. Yet, if you were to draw up a list of the best handling cars of all time. How double wishbone suspension works. The double wishbone suspension is sometimes referred to as double arms. The upper arm is usually not much shorter to create negative camber for jouncing, rising, as this arrangement is usually called an sla or short long arms suspension. When the car is in a turn, body roll results in positive camber gain on the lightly loaded inside wheel, while the heavily loaded outside wheel loses significant camber. Between the top two ends of the arms is a knuckle. The knuckle contains a central point for rotational movement. The kingpin of older models is utilized in a horizontal motion, while rubber or grunion bushings are employed for vertical sliding purposes. As the sprocket rises, the push rod, the typical mobile arrangement, pivots along both sides of the inside spring via a spindle or pivoting system, whereas the different method has a gear, i.e. the unfolding arrangement, that will pull on the rod during bump travel, and the rod must be attached to the upright at a slight angle downward. Advantages and Disadvantages of Double Wishbone Suspension what are the positive and negative aspects of a double wishbone suspension system? Now we are able to count those because the time has come to do so. The advantages and disadvantages are laid out separately for you below. Advantages Yes, there are some real-life advantages that have kept double wishbone suspension systems on the list of choices. Check those advantages below. Excellent Handling the primary advantage of a double wishbone suspension is that introduction of negative camber enhances the stability characteristics of the automobile as the outside tires maintain greater contact with the road. This steadies the vehicle, too, while enhancing handling. Better stability. The double suspension system is firmer and more rigid than other suspension systems, so the process of adjusting the suspension and maintaining its alignment is remarkably easy even when you are applying a lot of force. Consistent Camber In addition, they offer greater negative camber gain up to full jounce travel, in contrast to the McPherson strut, which affords greater negative camber gain only at the start of jounce travel and then reverses into greater positive camber gain at maximum jounce levels. Superior Fine Tuning and Load Capacity a double wishbone suspension is simple to fine-tune owing to its functionality, so the suspension can be achieved to best take full advantage of wheel motion and fine-tuned to accurately reflect suspension movements. The load distribution for different components is also simple to evaluate, allowing optimized lightweight parts to be designed. Flexible The suspension system's adjustability allows it to be well adapted to the needs of product designers, especially since it can maneuver differently for different camber percentage points, roll center heights, and swing arm lengths. Disadvantages Here we've gathered the most notable disadvantages of the double wishbone suspension system. Maintenance complexity and cost A double wishbone suspension is oftentimes compromised by system issues because it is more complicated than other kinds of suspensions. It is requirement-driven, and there are several piecemeal modules to the system reminiscent of a party clown. If any of such pieces are broken or damaged as a consequence, your system will be out of order. Maintenance and service of the double wishbone suspension are likely to have more expenses due to this. Uncontrolled talk. Yet another concern is that at least some of the torque coming from braking has to be controlled by changing your whole body, and the traction force has to be an area of the road that is not spontaneously noticed. To counteract this problem, 
The bottom wishbone is frequently prolonged to provide a better road. Once that is done, the need for a higher wishbone goes away, and you end up with a multilinker of some kind.